Next we're going to work on our pivoting arm. So you're going to want to take your 18 inch long 2x4 and you're going to need to mark the dead center. So measure this way and find center, measure this way and find center. And you want to measure center on this side and then one inch in. So the center of this hole is actually on the one inch mark. And each one of these lines are one inch or one inch increments. And these will be used when you're actually making your string so you can sort of gauge how long you want your loop, how big you want your loops to be, how much serving you want to put down. Now what you want to do is once you've marked these areas, you want to drill a quarter inch hole right through the center of this board. You also want to drill a three quarter inch hole in the top and the bottom. These are going to be for the posts and this is going to be for the pivot screw or the pivot bolt. So once you've got this you want to take one of your little plywood pieces and you want to mark the dead center of this and drill a half an inch hole. Once you have these you want to take your half an inch bolt and start putting this together. So the way this works is you take your smaller plywood piece, take the bolt, put the bolt all the way through. You want to place this through the bottom of your board and you want to give a little bit of space. If you can see, you want a little bit of space here because this is actually not going to be connected together. This bottom portion will ride on the underside of the strut. Then you take your washer, place it on, place your lock washer, then you put the wing nut on. Alright, so before we move on, you're going to want to take your posts and actually place them in the ends here. You don't need to glue them, you can if you want to. I don't like to glue them because it's easier to replace them if they get misshapen or if they break. With normal use they shouldn't, but I usually make a lot of strings and sometimes they wear out. So this is what it looks like. And the way this works is you take the strut, you take your uh, plywood end here, you simply slide this whole thing over the end. And there you go. So the way this works is you can move this to adjust the length of your string. When you're making your string, you tighten this and you can put your loops down from here to the end piece and then when you're ready to work on your loops, serve your loops, you can actually pivot this. And that's how that works. So now that we've got this, we're going to work on our tailpiece. So let's go do that. Now we're going to be working on our end piece. The end piece is fairly simple. This is just a piece of 2 by 4 and the way you want to lay this out is you just want to measure dead center this way and an inch in from the end and then you drill a 3 quarter inch hole. Now what you want to do is you want to actually go ahead and on your little plywood piece you want to mark the dead center and then an inch in from both sides. 
what this will do is that it will actually line up You can see it will line up with the holes in the strut so that we'll be able to screw this together while the end piece is actually on the strut. So this is where the inch and a quarter screws come in. We're actually going to be screwing these or screwing this plate through the strut and onto this piece to permanently lock it in place. So, here we go. Uh, 